All right, so in my last couple of videos, I've been talking about NFTs, whether you should buy at Mint or Wait, how to do some research on them and things like that, and just kind of briefly explaining what they are. But there's another thing that you really should consider and think about when you're looking at getting into NFTs, especially for the first time. It is my belief, and this is a shared belief through a fair por portion of the NFT community, that there is going to be an NFT winter in the coming months to years that could last anywhere from a couple of weeks, a couple of months, all the way up to a couple of years. And basically what I mean by an NFT winter is a lot of the NFT projects are essentially gonna go to zero. And some of them may stay there, some of them may come back, and then some of them are still going to go down but aren't gonna go all the way to zero, but they're all are going to come back and survive it, obviously. But if you think back on it, the internet did the same thing back in like 2000 when the internet.com bubble burst. Basically, at the time, all the internet stocks crashed, but among those stocks that all crashed, there was Google and Amazon was among them. Therefore, the giants are still going to be there, still going to survive. It's just deciding and figuring out which ones those giants are and which ones are just going to be the ones that everyone forgets about and just go to zero and stay dead. Now, for a good example of this, I it is my belief that Gary V's V Friends is going to be one of the absolute strongest NFT projects that will come out of the winter and it's gonna do amazingly well. If you follow Gary V at all, I'm sure you agree with me on that and you understand why. If you don't follow Gary V, I highly recommend you go and check out a few of his videos. It could literally change your life. Now, with that being said, it's kind of in a way risky to get involved in NFTs because of this. So what I am personally planning on doing, I'm planning on taking a little bit of profits if I make some, hopefully before the NFT crash happens. But if I don't get a chance to take profits or I'm just still holding a lot of my NFTs, I essentially just plan on not panic selling like a lot of people will do. And I just plan on holding it and because it, the NFT projects that I have and I own, I enjoy and I like them and I like the art subjectively. So therefore I'm just gonna hold them and if they fail, they fail. I'm out a couple hundred dollars because I got in at mint. So it kind of, it's a risk, but it's a risk that I am willing to take. So you just kind of got to decide for you is it a risk that you are willing to take. So I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out because I believe it's probably gonna happen somewhere around within the next between six months to two years, somewhere around in there. And I personally think it's probably going to last for about a year minimum up to between three to five years. It just kind of is going to depend on how many people adopt into NFTs and how big it gets and how big of companies get involved in it and how quickly and if they do it correctly. All right. So another thing to think about with this is basically the reason why this is possible and why I believe it's going to happen. Basically, it's because NFTs are a very new thing that a lot of people aren't involved in yet. Now there are quite a bit of people involved that way, but in as in like in portion for the global population or even the US population, it's a very, very small percentage of people that are actually involved in following NFT projects on a day-to-day -day basis or even at all. So with that being said, it's new technology, it's pretty new. And because of that, it's gonna be pretty volatile, just like cryptocurrency is, it still is, even though more and more people are getting into crypto on a daily basis. But you're not really gonna see things stabilize and really start to be in a less volatile state until almost everyone that's gonna be involved in it is for the most part involved and using it on a day-to-day -day basis. At that point, you should see things starting to calm down a little bit and be quite a bit less volatile. So that's the reason why NFTs are it's possible for them to have a winter and have a big crash. So that's just kind of my two cents on it. I just want to make sure I pointed that out and you guys were aware of it. So make sure that you leave a like and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will get back to as many as possible. So I'm going to take this time to thank everyone that has liked, commented, and subscribed. It really means a lot and it helps out my channel a ton. So thank you and I'll catch you on the next video.